Despite the great and certain worldly rewards for staying healthy and fit, they are not the sole or even the main reason to seek and embrace the habits of good health. The greatest benefits to health are found in the mind and spirit and soul of the seeker. Being a person of strong character is the best prescription for a sound mind and a sound body. If you are a person of strong character, you will promise yourself that you will achieve your goals or, or what? It doesn't matter because you never consider that possibility. You have made a promise and you're going to keep it. When you set out to drive to the grocery store, you don't stop at the doorway and think, what will I do if I don't make it? You simply intend to get to the grocery store. You know you're going to get there. You will get there. It's simply assumed. Fear is simply the inability to make a promise to yourself. It kicks in when you start thinking about all the bad things that can happen to you on the way to your destination. And before long, you're thinking, wouldn't it be easier just to stay home? Isn't it safer to just stay in bed? Isn't it better to pull the covers up over my head? When you were learning how to walk, you made a silent promise to yourself that you were going to do it. It may have been scary at times. You surely stumbled again and again. Tears surely fell from your eyes, but no matter. You didn't even think about that. Each time you fell, you forgot about it as soon as you regained your feet because you had promised yourself you were going to walk across the room. And you did it. How long did it take? Who cares? You did it. Ask yourself, are you a person who comes to a fork in the road and turns right or left? Or do you stop the car, scratch your chin, and say, well, maybe I'll go this way, and then again, maybe I'll go that way? And in the end, you go nowhere. Are you the kind of person who comes to a decision and puts it into action? Or are you someone who says, well, maybe, but then again, maybe not? Having to is a lot stronger than wanting to. But often, and especially when you're young, that difference isn't always clear until someone points it out to you. You have enough talent and intelligence to really accomplish a lot in life, but you just don't have enough reasons to make it happen. A person of truly strong character sees success as an adventure not as a point with an estimated time of arrival. True patience is more than just a waiting game. Patience doesn't mean you sit around hoping for something to happen. Patience is not a passive quality. Sometimes patience can mean doing something else entirely, thinking about another venture, taking off in a different direction, while you give events a chance to run their course. Impatient thinking can lead a person into some very big mistakes. You have to lose your life in order to find it. If you have your health, you have everything. Lose your health and there isn't enough money in all the world to make life good or to make you feel like life is worth living. You have to lose one way of living in order to find a different one. One that's better suited to who you are at this particular time. But you can do that, though it takes character. You have to lose your life in order to find it, but you can lose your life and you can find a new one. A healthy attitude. 
your attitude, the slant you put on things, the way you lean into life or back away from it is all part of your character. Good health is more than just the absence of illness. It's more than just not being sick. Good health is the direct result of right thinking and right living. In other words, of strong character. Anybody who does the same thing every day, year in and year out, with no break or vacation, is probably in no position to even know whether he or she is in good shape. You can't know what you have until you leave it or lose it or get something else. You just can't sharpen your mind like a pencil so it comes to a fine point but always gets shorter and shorter until it's worn down to a stub and has to be discarded. Remember, every dream is a vacation. Feeling right makes others feel right, and they in turn give back what's inside them, the very confidence that you give out. A patient man is always richer than an impatient one, even if the patient man has less money. A patient man is always richer than the impatient one because the patient man can always afford to wait. The patient man is never desperate. The patient man has time to spare, while the man in a hurry is always on the verge of bankruptcy as far as time is concerned. In any situation you can think of, impatience is a source of weakness and fear while patience is substance and strength. You should simply refuse to compromise. You should similarly refuse to accept pettiness or dishonesty or unethical behavior in any form. If your character is good and strong, there are certain things that you simply refuse to accept in yourself or in other people. In your work, you refuse to accept anything less than your best effort. That doesn't mean that things will always work out exactly as you hoped and intended, but that's not the point. So embrace your fear, take it inside yourself, and use it as a foundation for true courage. There will always be variables you can't control, but your effort level should always be maxed out regardless. Very few people are able to develop this kind of intrinsic motivation. That's just an axiom of human nature. Let's suppose that there's a vast, hugely powerful force that nobody can withstand. And this immense force is always active and in furious motion. It never rests. It's like a slowly flowing river that can eventually carve the Grand Canyon out of solid rock. Now in trying to achieve your life's goals, would you prefer to fight against this great force? Would you want to struggle against this mighty power that has all the odds overwhelmingly in its favor? Or would you rather enlist this great power in your cause and make the inevitable work for you instead of against you? By the way, time is that great power I'm talking about. History proves that time is the strongest ally you can possibly have, no matter what the odds against you or the level of adversity you're facing. Time gives strength to those who have it on their side. Why would you ever choose to fight time when you could have time on your side? Who wouldn't want to harness the great river of time that flows through all of life? 